Let's grab two people. I want pressure. Be immune to pressure. I'm the salesperson. Anybody can put somebody on ice for a second. Now let's do this. Let's say you don't have that truck. You already said you sold it, right? Guy said, hey man, I'm interested in that truck. I'm gonna go back to you, Zach, okay? Hey Zach, listen, you said that you did have something similar. I go walk out there with you. You don't have any F-150. I'm like, I thought you said you had something. Okay, absolutely. So would you are you just making a decision based on just the make and model, or would you consider a great deal on another truck that was just the uh, uh, similar as well? Okay, watch. Now he's getting better. That's exactly what I want. I want you guys to decide that, look, you need to have something tattooed on your heart that does a couple things. Number one, when somebody gets told that the car just sold, how do you think they feel? The first thing you must do is take away the feeling that they just missed the perfect call. Good, great, unstoppable. There's three levels of salespeople. Today, we'll identify who you are. Andy, I understand that. Do you mind if I ask you a question real quick? Sure. Hey, Andy, real quick, let's just say that mine was the last one that you went and looked at. Um, out of the three that you were going to go look at, what would you say be the deciding factor of it? Would it be the vehicle, regardless of the deal, or the deal, the vehicle with the best deal that would help make that decision? Okay, reset. You know what you want to say, right? Right. Okay, reset. Communicate to me well. You know what you want to say. You got great points to make. Clearly, you understand the clothes, right? Right. So I want you to look at me. We're on the lot, okay? Everybody pay attention for a second, and I'll flip it back. This was how me and my best friend, when we were younger, Got to make 40, 50 grand a month as car salesman, and everybody else is making 5,000, 10,000. We would bat each other like this. That's it. This is how you get great. How you present something is how the customer will perceive it. What's your best price? Uh, Andy, this is actually my best price. Uh, I know you may be able to go to a different store and find a price lower. However, we actually do 122 point inspection on our vehicle, so I can guarantee you the quality. So now, quick question for you. Uh, are you looking for your payment to come out on the 1st or the 15th? Um, I'm not really sure we haven't got into that. We're just kind of curious, like, is there a better deal that you can offer? Okay, so currently right now, this is the best price right now. So um, again, are you looking for your payment to come out on the 1st or the 15th? Okay, I appreciate it. So you said currently, so can we find out what it would be? Okay, so right now, this is the best price right now. So you can't get me a better deal? So this is the best price currently Why, right why do you keep looking down? Well, I, well, right here. Okay, okay, I'm assuming that you actually got the offense in your hand, so. No, I got it. I got you. But I want you to look at me. Okay. Look, watch this. Hey Andy, look, I'm really glad that you asked that. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And just walk into me. Look, here's what I want to tell you. Connection is what's gonna make deals go down. The skill set with the right mindset, mastering energy will pay you more money than you ever imagined in your whole life. Look, this is how word tracks work. Let me ask you a question. If the car was across the street from me right now, if my car was across the street from you right now, right? If my car was across the street from you right now, would you come over and look at it, yes or no? Yes, great, so the fact that you're saying you would come over, that means that we know that we found the right vehicle. It's just working out the time. You see that? You're telling them how to think, you're making their choices for them, you're eliminating other options, buyers get confused, okay? Who's the one that's gonna get unemotional, understands the concept of the situation, and he can navigate the customer through it? That's what I'm freaking talking about. Great salespeople never lose control. So does that mean that you're not going to give us a better deal? I can absolutely get you a better deal, but what is a great deal to you? So are you asking me to make an offer? Well, what are you looking for when you're expecting it? Whoa, ask whoa, whoa, you're losing it now. So yeah. bad. Okay. Are you going to give up your control? No. Okay, let me explain this to you. Yeah. Sell like a lion, act like a lamb. He's a lion. He's being seen as a lamb. He's very familiar with negotiating, but he's acting like, you know, he's just good at it. He knows exactly where I'm going, and he's always gonna be way ahead of me, okay? When he says, 
well, what would a good deal be like to you? He just gave up control and he can't control what I'm going to say. And if he can't control what I'm going to say, I'm probably going to say something he don't want to hear. Negotiation's about to go in this shit in two seconds. Because yeah. I'm going to say, so are you asking me to make an offer? 